Now, for more on this debate over strategy in Afghanistan, we are joined once again by Alex Thier. He is the director for Afghanistan and Pakistan at the United States Institute of Peace. Welcome back. Pleasure. So let's review. What are the options available to President Obama in Afghanistan? Well, of course, there's a wide range of options. President Obama could continue the strategy that has been pursued for the last eight years, uh, which has gradually increased the number of U.S. forces and U.S. civilian presence. He could increase that much further, uh, a sort of surge-like approach, or he could begin to draw back on those resources. All right, so what are you hearing? I mean, do you think that there could be a major shift in strategy? I don't think that this year a major shift is in the cards. I think that the general consensus, although there are some who disagree, is that a counterinsurgency strategy is still possible in Afghanistan and that fundamentally the goals that we feel that we need to achieve for national security purposes are still achievable. Uh, but there is a creeping amount of doubt among certain people, which is why I believe we're having this debate. And we get these reports of division appearing within the administration on this issue, and I'm wondering how deep are those divisions? Do we know? Well, I think that the divisions in many ways are more political than they are tactical at the moment. As I said, I believe that a lot of the decisions that are going to be made now, whether you add some troops, are relatively tinkering with the model that the president announced last March. I think that the political aspect of this debate, which has newly crept in and where deeper divisions do exist, is about the long term, is about fundamentally where American interests are and where we want to engage in the world in, or in order to further those interests. But if the president president doesn't respond in some way in a short time frame, is there a danger that uh, there could be harm done to what has already been achieved in Afghanistan? Well, we've been in Afghanistan for eight years, and I think it's certainly a good opportunity and a necessary uh, act by the president to step back and consider how the last eight years have gone and where we're going. So I don't think that we're running out of time. At the same time, the Afghan election process is still unresolved, and I think that an announcement uh, at this date, before that crisis is resolved, uh, would probably be premature. And do you think this is a decision the president makes all by himself? Well, ultimately, it is the president's decision. I mean, he has many very experienced advisors around him, uh, but ultimately, he has to make the call, and it will be his responsibility. And within the Pentagon, is there any division there? Well, I think there is certainly a skepticism among some in the Pentagon that a counterinsurgency objective can be achieved over the long term in Afghanistan. I think that there is concern that adding more troops into the theater um, could make things worse, but obviously the commanders on the ground feel that they need more forces to fulfill the mission that they've been given. Alex Thier, we're out of time. Thank you. My pleasure.